Ahoy there, matey. There's a new oxide in town. I have no idea where that accent came from. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. I have the new distress color in the craft slash dining room. And today I'm going to make my first card project focusing mostly on the oxide. Feels very oceany to me. So that's what I'm going to do. It's a color that I'm not familiar with. So I guess you could say I'm in uncharted mariner territory. <laughs> To see that card project, stick around. It's coming up next. Here's a look at the core products I'll be using today. And yes, I have the brand new Uncharted Mariner. And today I'm using this new Tim Holtz color in the Oxide formulation, along with, I think, antique linen. I have an idea. I'm going to make a beach scene. So I've got this cool stencil. It's called Surf and Sand. I've also got Hello Sunshine, although I have another dye from my collection, Life's a Beach. I may change my mind, but I may not. I think I want to go with Hello Sunshine. I also have some cute little sentiment strips that I'm going to try to work into today's card project. So let's get set up for some ink blending. I want to create just a little mask for this area because I think I want to keep the waves as is. I'm going to trace this part of the stencil like that. Oh, it's, getting, it's getting a little wild in here. And then I'm going to just quickly cut along that line of the area that I want to preserve for the antique linen. I'm going to unplug, I'm going to unplug the backers and just line that up right on there to mask. Okay, I probably wasted a little masking paper, but I guess the benefit is it's going to hold everything else in place. And sometimes, you know, you could do this with a large post-it note too. That, that would work pretty cool. Now I thought it would be nice to start with the oxide because for me, sometimes I really love how I blend with oxides because they're super creamy. And I'm just going to come in like this and add a little through the stencil lines, right? So we will get that white in there, okay? But then we're just gonna blend up and out and just really make a beautiful blue lagoon. This is a very deep color. And I really wanna get a nice coverage here cause I am going to splatter the whole thing. Peel this back. And you'll see how cool this looks down here. Oh, look at that. Now I feel like I'm probably going to want to put a little bit in here, right? Like go with a little, actually, let's put this back. Now that we have our lines here, what would happen if I get you right there? Just went very, very lightly. So let's just do a little, just to kind of fill in that area like that. That way we get sort of a, a tone on tone. Like that. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I went ahead and just traced again on this piece. And I can go ahead and cut this out. So it turns out I did need more than I thought. So I can mask off the top portion. For the next part, I don't even need the stencil anymore because I think this mask is going to hold it quite ably. And I'm going to bring in a antique linen. I've never actually used this particular brush, but I do keep a separate set of brushes for oxides. So that way I don't have to worry about the formulation. And I think it works great. Like that. This is a nice peach color. And peel back. Oh, that's good. Little tiny spot right there. And honestly, I could use one of my tiny brushes. Let's see. There's another brush too that has a more narrow head, but I think this is fine just for going over that to, it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, you know what? That just takes the brightness out. I'm gonna splatter on a little goodness here and I'm going to get this wet just off camera here. Like that. Tap, tap. Is anything coming? Yes, tap some things on. It's going to show more up at the top. Actually, that's looking beautiful all over. 
Mm, look at that. And then I'm going to let this completely dry before I move on to the next step. I think I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. I just had a change of heart. I'll tell you what the change of heart is. All right, we're going to cut this down a little. And I think I am going to use the Life's a Beach greeting. But I got an idea. So let me cut this first. Went ahead and cut this out with some Nina Solar White Classic Crest. And because I, there are many ways you can get the spacing right, right? But here's what I'm going to do. Press and seal, right? I'm just going to cover it up like this, okay? My bone folder has gone missing. We don't know. We don't know why. So I'm just going to, well, I guess I could just take anything, really. I just want to burnish this so that hopefully it sticks. Do you think it's going to stick? Let's, let's see if I can get it all to come up. Oh, it did. Oh, great. Okay. This is exactly what I wanted to have happen. I don't want to deal with all that extra paper, although I will use that for die cutting. I'm going to work my way, try to keep these things in as I come up. Can I do it? We're going to make it. Give us any chance, we'll take it. Give us any room, we'll break it. In that song in the comments, we're gonna make our dreams come true. Doing it our way. This is exactly what I wanted, I think. So here's here's the thinking. I am going to get the centers out, hopefully in the right position. You're coming, yep, like this. Okay. <laughs> Now, I'm going to add some liquid glue to the back of this. I don't want this to ooze out. I want these to stay in place. Dobbing it down like that. Everything's in place, which is, you know, it's good. Then I can very easily, I think, place this in a way that will make sense. And I could bring in my ruler just to make sure, but I think, I think that looks really straight. I think if I were to do that, that's pretty straight. Maybe down a little like that. I really don't know what I did with my bone folder, but we're just going to press it down. Press. And give that a chance to adhere. Then you just peel it back. Hopefully, it's, I don't think it's going to hurt the oxide at all. And go slow, slow. Whoa, perfect placement on the card panel. You know, I mean, I don't necessarily need another layer, but what the heck, when in, when in Rome. I'm just going to glue these on. So let me pop on some music and we'll make the magic happen. That. You could stack it up as much as you like, but see, just that little extra bit gives you some dimension. Also, found my bone folder. All right, I am going to cut some of this big mama roll to add some foam tape to the back. I decided to go ahead and take one of my sentiment strips and cut out a little greeting from just the regular. I almost never use the regular, but I think this could be really cute, maybe. I'm just going to trim this out from side to side so it's nice and even. And I will put these little friends into a Simon Says Stamp clear pocket so I can keep all of these together. Yeah, you know what? I might just leave it. Well, I don't know. If I had gone up just a little higher, maybe just go right in the center. going to think about it. In the meantime, I am going to put some little bubbly dots on here. Let's grab our craft pick and wrap this up. These are just some clear oh, <laughs> adhesive dots that I like to use. I, I've got a stash that I'm kind of 
kind of kind of hoarding them actually because I think they're super cool and we don't have a whole lot of these left so I well actually it probably made more sense to put them in the water <laughs> but you know what sometimes sometimes you're just gonna do what you're gonna do and nobody nobody's gonna mind nobody's gonna mind they're not gonna be like Kathy what are you doing this is crazy actually think it's not crazy but I actually don't want to have that on there I know it's super minimal I'm pulling it away and that is my finished card project featuring the brand new Uncharted Mariner and my life's a beach die and I guess there was a stencil in there too you never know what's going to happen I had one more idea for this. I, I can't quite walk away. I haven't used my shimmer pen in a really long time. And I thought, you know, just what if I just put a little shimmer in the water, just like this? I mean, it's really, it might react with the oxide. I know I already have those little friends in there, but that's okay. I am going to shimmer this up. And you know what? You won't even really see much of it now. But when it dries, I think it will be good. It might not even show up in the photos, to be honest. We're going to do it. We're just coming around here like that. And look at, oh, don't get any on the card. I mean, the white card base. I don't know. I actually think that is pretty. And again, it's just going to change the look of this a little bit. So let's, let's do it all the way. I love this pen. And I feel like I've been out of practice for doing any sort of shimmery stuff. That. Now, what you will see is, well, it's kind of hard to show up here, but can you get that little shimmery, little shimmery waves breaking on the shore? And that is the finished card project. Thanks so much for watching today. You can find links to all the supplies that I used in today's video below in the YouTube description box. I'll see you back here with another card project soon. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.